love you because I've known you forever. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, I forgot to light it first, Mom. Okay. <laughs> I do the light start. And I've known you forever. And we can tell each other anything. time you're the closest thing to home so that's why I love you over the last three four years I've gotten to know you very well and the thing that I most respect about you is your willingness to be so honest about how you feel and just to put yourself out there and you're not afraid to be who you are and a lot of people are afraid to do that and just not willing to accept any kind of criticism whether it be good bad or whatever and um, I just really respect that about you. Okay. And I just think you're a really fun person to be around, and I think that you are very um, true to your true to yourself. And even though it may not seem like you, you know, 100% are content with the way things are, you always make the best of every situation that you're in. Yay! Blessing for Jack. May your days be blessed with the simple things that make life wonderful. Fresh strawberries, chai tea, a good movie, a great book, beloved episodes of Charmed, an afternoon with friends, which we have here, garnets, dangly sparkly earrings, loud country music blaring in your car, sleepovers, a new coat of nail polish and a color you've never worn before, black leather skirts. May these things and more color your life wonderful. May your nights be calmed by the knowledge that you are a strong woman who has lived through pain, but has learned that through forgiveness there is healing. May that knowledge bring cleansing to your soul. May your weeks be counted by the lives you touch, the people you comfort, and the strength you lend others. You are much too many. To your family, you are the rock who is always there with hands open and willing. To your friends, you are the one who loves them deeply. To strangers, you are the one who beams a light on a cloudy day. May this knowledge never leave you, but fill your soul with purpose. May you always know how much you mean to those that love you, and never let fear or doubt creep into your heart. Be secure in your friendship. Accept love freely and don't squander it because you question whether you are undeserving. May you know that you are. May peace fill your soul. She's open. <laughs> May your months add up like pieces of brightly colored glass on a mosaic masterpiece. Each piece tells a story, adds a lesson to the larger tale. Without a single piece, you wouldn't be who you are. May you take what life has given, good and bad, and make it into something beautiful. May your years be remembered by the laughter you share with good friends and strangers, and by the joy you bring to this world. Well, listen to me. <laughs> this is a poem I'm sure you've heard before. It's called If I Had My Life to Live Over. I dare to make more mistakes next time. I'd relax. I would limber up. I would be sillier than I have been this trip. I would take fewer things seriously. I would take more chances. I would climb more mountains and swim more rivers. I would eat more ice cream and less beans. I would perhaps have more actual troubles, but I'd have fewer imaginary ones. You see, I'm one of those people who live sensibly and sanely, hour after hour, day after day. Well, I've had my moments, and if I had it to do over again, I'd have more of them. In fact, I'd try to have nothing else, just moments, one after another, instead of living so many years ahead of each day. I've been one of those people who never goes anywhere without a thermometer, a hot water bottle, a raincoat, and a parachute. If I had to do it again, I would travel lighter than I have. If I had my life to live over, I would start barefoot earlier in the spring and stay that way later in the fall. I would go to more dances, I would ride more merry-go-rounds, I would pick more daisies. I chose this poem for you because I've known you longer than anybody. And I know that you do live a life full of moments. Keep living hard, staying young and beautiful and deep. Happy birthday. I love you. Okay, 
I think the best way to end this is to make you, or let you do your birthday wish. So, I want you to think hard <laughs> and make a really good wish. And then this is yours forever. Okay? I have to say the wish out loud. Well, I don't think wishes come true if you tell everybody. Okay. Okay? Go ahead. Did I blow it out when I make the wish? Yep. Now it's yours. Yay.